Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're down at the storage yard on a lovely summer's day and we're going to be cleaning the caravan. So while we were here, I thought I'd uh, share a little video with you. I'm going to show you how I clean the caravan carpets. So come and join us. So today we're at the storage yard I said and we're going to be cleaning the carpets. I'm going to show you a few techniques that I have uh, with uh, my caravan valeting business and I'm going to share them with you and see if there's something that you may be able to take with you and learn from and probably get some good results on your carpets. Now ours at the moment are quite dirty because we've been away to North Wales and as a result of that we had good weather and we had bad weather so the carpets got a little bit mucky because we forgot to take our shoes off a couple of times which is a golden rule in our caravan normally, no shoes. So let's take a look at what I'm going to do and uh, show you the techniques I've got. So here are the things that we're going to be using to clean the carpets with. So we're going to use a vacuum cleaner We've also got here a rug doctor. Now you might not have a rug doctor, so there are alternatives which I'm going to show you as well. We also have some Auto Glim interior shampoo. We have the rug doctor solution, obviously for the rug doctor. We have a stiff hand brush, and we also have some terry towels. Now these terry towels, I buy them in bulk and I'll be honest, I prefer these to microfiber uh, towels. They tend to lift the dirt out a lot more. Now I use them with a steam cleaner as well. Now you can steam these carpets, but you've got to be careful for shrinkage. So just bear that one in mind. I've opted today not to show you the steam method. We're going to use the rug doctor, the vac, and also the manual version as well. So let's get into it and I'll show you first of all the manual version. So in addition to the uh, items that I mentioned, we're also going to have some warm water as well in a bucket. So we'll just set that on one side. Now the first thing you want to do is vacuum the carpet, so I'm going to do that. So that's that section done. So here we have quite a few mud spots. I hope they show up on the camera, but if they don't, you'll have to just trust me on that. There's one there and there's one there. So what I tend to do is I take the Autoglim interior shampoo and I'm gonna turn it on and I spray it on the affected areas. I'm quite generous with it in those areas. Now taking one of the terry towels, I'm going to wet that through and give it a good wring out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to rub in that area. Now rub towards the pile so it lifts it up. Like so. And as you can see there, the dirt is starting to lift off. And again, like so. So I'm just moving the pile, flattening it down, and the stains have almost gone. Now, if the stains are quite stubborn, what I would recommend you use is a stiff brush like so, and rub it in. Remembering that what it will do, some of the dirt, it actually will rub into the pile. So you've got to bear that one in mind. Taking your cloth again, go back over it until your stain's gone. Like so. So you'll have to forgive me, my hair fever's playing up at the moment. So if I'm sniffing, I do apologize. But there you go, all the dirt is now trapped in the terry towel. Like I say, I when you're cleaning carpets and things like this, upholstery, the terry towels are a lot better. They trap the dirt and they don't tend to spread it around like a microfiber cloth does. So my top tip, these terry towels, I got these from Costco in a pack. I think they were about 16 quid for 52, which is a bargain. And they're quite a large size, as you can see. 
I think they're about 14 inches square. But there you go, you can see the dirt even more now. So that's lifted that dirt up nice, nicely. Now we're outside, so the sun's gonna dry that. And remember, don't put it back in your caravan when it's wet. Make sure that it's dry before you put it back. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you my rug doctor and we'll have a look at this section here. It's quite poor, this area, and uh, it's had a lot of traffic on it. So uh, we'll get the rug doctor out for this one. Okay, so we're now going to use the rug doctor with it. So first of all, we're gonna vacuum. Now the noise you can hear in the background is my generator because I obviously need electricity. So first of all, we'll just vacuum this area. So what we've done now is we've vacuumed and we've got it nice and clean. There's a few spots of dirt I can see here. There's a stain there and there's also um, some more mud marks on it. Now, what I'm going to do is use the Rug Doctor. Um, how you use the Rug Doctor is quite simple. I'll just do a dry run with you uh, because it, it does get quite noisy. So what you do, you apply the Rug Doctor to the actual pile. Get a spider there and then you turn it on and the spray comes out of here and coats the actual carpet itself and you repeat that several times uh, these br brushes actually move um, backwards and forwards as well and it gets into the pile so we're going to do that now <laughs> So that's the actual carpet now and it's looking pretty clean actually. It's quite dry as well to touch because the extraction from the back, the back side of the rug doctor does lift it quite well. I've noticed that there's a, a red uh, stain there which I can't get off. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of concentrate on a tarry towel and I'm going to rub that in and see if that has an effect on it. So with it slightly neat, like that, we're just going to rub it into the pile like so and see if it lifts it out now these rug doctors you can hire them uh, they're not the cheapest things and the solution's quite expensive as well but if you've got really bad carpets I would probably recommend that you hire one and have a go yourself failing that just do the original method that I showed you at the beginning So what we're going to do now is leave that on there for a few minutes and see if it lifts it off in a moment. So that's there, been on for a few minutes now, so we'll see if it lifts it. And as you can see, it's bringing up quite a lot of soap. Which works its way into the pile. Now, if it persists and you're having a struggle, and it could be any, any stain, another thing I would recommend is also um, a car detailer's brush. So what we can do now is take it on the drill and just rub it into the pile like so. You could use... Now you could use this method with a manual with the auto glim as well. Uh, it probably would lift it quicker than the hand brush. You can get these on Amazon, they're quite cheap. So what I'm going to do now is go back over with the rug doctor and see if that's uh, lifted it. there you go uh, it's actually lifted the stain I'm quite pleased with that uh, it's took it right out a couple of methods that we've used but 
it was quite a stubborn stain and it was, was bright red. I just hope it picked it up on camera so that you could see it. So what I'm going to do now is continue uh, cleaning the rest of the uh, carpet and I'll come back to you at the end. Well folks, that's the two methods that I use to clean the carpets. Um, I would recommend, however, that you uh, test any chemicals or cleaning agents you're going to use on the carpet in an area that probably wouldn't show, just in case there's any colour fade or any bleach into the carpet colour itself. But other than that, it's either plain old elbow grease with some uh, autoglim or get yourself a rug doctor if you don't already own one. Hiring's the cheapest option. Well, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've took some information away and it's of value to you. But in the meantime, bye for now.